Hi, this is Jim Clary again, and again, welcome to AirModTraining.com and our YouTube video channel, AirMod Training. In this video, we're going to review for you our uh, online AirMod Training Help. We're going to go through an example to give you an idea of this option that may service that may be available, that is, excuse me, not maybe, it is available to you to um, get some help on an as-needed basis. The two unique things about this, as I first mentioned, is it is an as-needed, meaning um, um, you only need to call us when you've got uh, a question. And the second thing is it's all online. We use um, Skype for Business via web browser, other people call or otherwise known as online meetings, to talk to you. And really the only equipment you need is a um, you need a microphone and a, um, and speakers. Obviously, you're watching this video, so you at least have the speakers. Um, you could use a headset like I've got on here. Uh, is probably with the microphone is probably the best way to do it. And the way it'll work is um, you'll go to our website under services, and you will simply purchase um, time and um, anywhere from a half an hour to several hours. And of course, as you buy more time, the uh, dollar, the cost per time goes down, and um, that will again give you the opportunity. You will pay for that via PayPal, so we won't keep your credit card information at all. That's all handled by PayPal, and uh, as you'll see in this video, then uh, we'll send you a link, and uh, away you go. The only other thing to remember is we do sell these in half an hour increments so each call has a minimum of a half an hour and that's the smallest you can buy is a half an hour um, you're free to use remaining time for other things that we could help you with or if we've answered all of your questions I, I think you'll find it um, well worth the uh, money you can do multiple sessions for example if you bought two hours you could get up to four sessions for one half hour sessions um, for that Anyway, without further ado, I'll um, take you over and uh, we'll start uh, the video demonstration. And again, thank you for watching um, AirMod Training. This is Jim Clary with AirModTraining.com. And I'm going to act as a AirMod uh, modeler for this uh, video that's going to demonstrate our online um, help. And I'm going to make a run. I've got uh, my data files here, as you can see. Uh, close this window. We don't need that one. Um, pull up my um, input file so you can see what it looks like. It's going to be a nice, simple input file. I've got my controlling cards that Sarah described, the source cards, and then I've got um, my receptor information. You see here, I'm running a project for my boss who's got a meeting tomorrow and he wanted to know what the results were going to be on this. So we've got two existing uh, diesel generators called DEG-1 and DEG-2. And we're thinking about putting a new one in as DEG-3. So I want a two source groups. The first one I want is, I'm going to call it DEG-1 through 2 and it's going to be DEG-1 and DEG2. And then the second one's going to be including the new one, so that source group all. So I think everything looks okay there. So I'm going to um, go down here and I've got a little batch file to run them for me. Um, we'll see what the batch file looks like. It's a real simple little batch file. It copies just like Sarah has um, mentioned to you before. We copy the input file to airmod.inp. Remember, airmod always reads off airmod.inp. Then we execute the model. These little things here, the, just our file structure that we got gets us back to the airmod um, executable. Then once we're done, we copy it back out to our output file. We do a um, I display it. That type just says Type the whole screen, the whole file on your screen, and then a pause so we can see it. Then we clean up, delete the two input files because we've or the input file because we copied it over to 
to airmod.input as well as the output file. So I'm going to go ahead and close that little guy. Don't need that one anymore. So we're going to run it. And hopefully it'll work and I'll be ready to give them to my boss so he'll be ready for his meeting tomorrow. Uh oh. Not good here. I get a um, um, unsuccessful and looking at this it says invalid parameter specified for source range. What the heck? I got source group. I know that but I don't know what source range is. Again I look over here at my input files and when I look at my source groups look okay to me. Um, DEG-1 and DEG-2. So I guess I'm kind of stuck now so I'm going to go and um, go on the AirMod um, website and I'm going to purchase a little bit of little bit of time so I'll be right back with you when I get that up okay I've gone over to the if you can see to the airmodtraining.com website I click on um, services and um, now I can buy like um, figuring it's probably going to take me a half an hour I don't think it's going to take over a half an hour keep in mind we sell these in half an hour blocks so I'm going to click the um, buy now And that'll take us over to the pay site. And you see here items, price $75 for half an hour. Um, I'm just buying one half an hour. And um, email address, um, password, and everything. If I were going to do that, you can either pay with a PayPal account if you have it, or if you don't, you just click down here and then you can just enter your credit card information. Um, separately. Um, you can either use theirs or if you've got one like a Wells Fargo or whatever whatever you've got. Um, if you wanted to pay with online where they would take it out of your checking account business you probably got a uh, some type of credit card. You can see you get, so you go here to debit a credit. Visa, MasterCard. One thing that's important here, we're using PayPal. We do not, we at AirMod Training don't receive any of this information. It's all handled by PayPal. So I'm going to go on and fill this out and um, send that on up and then I'll be back with you when I get the reply from AirMod Training recognizing my purchase and then um, we'll see about scheduling that online meeting. Okay, I was monitoring my email and I got uh, something back from AirMod Training and it says thank you for purchasing the half an hour and they're available between um, 9 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, so I'm going to reply to that giving them um, reply to Sarah sent me this one so I'm going to reply to Sarah. Make sure you give them the the time zone that you're requesting. Jim Clary. Okay, I'll send this and uh, we'll watch our email now and uh, I should get a reply back from them with my online meeting notice. Okay, I've um, received the email response back from AirMod Training and they say they're basically ready to roll. They're saying 12.30, but maybe we can cheat and get it a few minutes early. So I'm going to click on the um, link. And I do have a headset on with a um, speaker or microphone, excuse me. And I'm ready to go. If you don't, you'll have to um, see about getting one. It just makes things a lot easier on these. So click on the link. And you see it's bringing up the web app of Skype for Business. Maybe different if you use Skype for Business. If you're used to it, this will be a little bit different. Uh, just type in your name. That's all you got to do, and that's just used for identification purposes for the for the meeting. Okay, uh, it says uh, we're joining the meeting. Got two participants now. Let's see, there's Sarah. Hello, Jim. Welcome to our session. Okay, I saw my mic was muted, so I unmuted it. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing all right. Let's see. Um, what do I need to do to share? What What do I need to do? At the bottom of the screen, uh, you should see a little icon that looks like a oh, yeah, share. 
share icon right here, right? Okay, yes. You can't see it, I know. Uh, sorry. Share screen. Okay. Oh, this is just like I use on my business app. Okay, I'm going to use my um, primary monitor. I'm going to say share it. It says I'm presenting. It says connecting up here, so... If you watch the video, people watching the video, you notice up here it gives me a indication that I'm sharing my screen so I won't forget. Uh, tell me, Sarah, why don't you tell me when you can see my screen? All right, it just came through. I can see it. Okay, great. Um, now, I'm going to minimize this so I'll get back to my working stuff. Minimize. Okay, Sarah, here's the problem I've got. Um, tried to run AirMod. Uh, my boss asked me to, to make a run with two existing sources and one new source, make a quick AirMod run, get an idea of where we are. And um, uh, he, they want to use it for a meeting tomorrow. And I can't get it to run. Okay. Uh, here's the error I'm getting. I've looked at it and looked at it, and I can't see what's going on. This is the uh, input file I've got over here. Whoops, I'm sorry. I wiped out. I can slide that so we can see them both. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. Yep. Uh, can see them both here. Um, it indicating something from my source groups, but at least from my reading and looking, at, I've got my source groups defined right here. First one, I want the first two sources, and then DEG one and two dash one and two. So what's going on? Right. Well, everything is set up correctly, but when you have a dash in the source ID, AirMod thinks you're defining a range of sources. So it's looking for sources from DEG to Unit 1. So all you need to do is either remove the dashes or you can even replace them with an underscore. We'll put them as an underscore. How's that? So I'll go Edit, Replace, and I'll go DE. Dash with D G underscore. Yep, right? and I think I'll replace all. I think this should work. Because that's. Looks like I did it. Yeah? Uh, yep. Over here. I'm just going to close my screen. Run it again. Ah! Same thing! Oh no, did you forget to save your file? No, oh, details, details. File. Save. All right, try it one more time. I'm sure you've never done that. Forget to save. Let's try it this time. Hey! Yay! Hey. Thank you, Sarah. No problem. Okay, that, um, for, uh, you viewers of the video, that gives you an idea of um, what a help session might look like. I know it didn't take very long, but as you can see, um, finding the exactly what's going on can save you an awful lot of time and aggravation. And this was from our real-world archives. We've actually run into this in our own and kind of stumbled around for a while trying to figure out what's going on. So I think you'll find this to be a valuable um, resource. In fact, I wish we would have had it, right, Sarah, when we were doing some of our stuff. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, you've got a half an hour um, minimum. So um, if this were a real session, uh, Sarah, you'd stay on with us, right? And we could go over the output, or you could show me some other tricks of the trade, or using Google what? Earth, or whatever the case may be. But um, I think for the purposes of uh, this video, we're gonna we're gonna end this now, and um, again we want to thank you for um, watching AirMod Training, and uh, encourage you to go to AirModTraining.com as well as our YouTube channel AirMod Training, and make sure you subscribe to that so you get notifications of new videos as we put them up. Again, Sarah, thank you so much, and I'm gonna stop my presentation now, so you. Have to watch all the other stuff I do. So uh, I 
think that hangs us and then go back to the web browser here and we'll just say hang up and we've left the call so again thank you so much and uh, this is Jim Clary and hope to see you in other AirMod training videos